Hi y'all, it's Mini Crew Texas Gal Studio coming to you with a little vlog. So it's been a while since I've been on here, on to YouTube, and I really just wanted to show you my little fairy gardens that I've been working. So it's pretty um, sprinkly out here. I don't even know if you can see like that little mist. And uh, I just really wanted to show you these little gardens that I've been creating. Um, I really can't do too much. I do want to go out into my veggie garden and maybe show you a little bit. Um, in the next video but this video is just for the fairy gardens that i've been um creating so this is one of them i have a lot of little plants that are overgrowing their little containers and so i decided to go with a terracotta it's kind of medium sized bowl like i put this little fence i put some moss down and um <clears throat> those are dollar tree little findings and so yeah, like I said, all these were kind of overgrowing their little containers. Some of them were a little sad looking, so hopefully that one will survive here. It's kind of wilting. I think it's overwatered. Um, then I've had this little statue angel for a while, so I thought I'd put her here. She's looks like she's reading a book. I think she looks super cute. So then over here, so I put my pumpkin out. Thanksgiving is tomorrow. Um, oh, there's my little kitty. <clears throat> And so I just did a little arrangement up here in the front door. But so I still have this to use. I'm not sure what I'm going to use that for. But so I kind of went with a Disney theme up here. I put this barrel because it reminds me of when we went to Disney World. And um, they had a lot of barrels near a ride there with the seven dwarves. So I thought this is a super cute little container. And I put, like I said, some of my little startings right there I don't know what you call them I was propagating and those started getting a little bit bigger so I just moved them out of the small little area I had them in I put some sheet moss down I found this little piece of wood there I just put that down and I put that princess right there and she looks like she's looking super happy that there is an outhouse there <laughs> so then the next one is always my favorite which is Alice in Wonderland of course my husband bought me this little teacup a while back and so I always love doing this one up there was a lot of plants that had died and there was a lot of ones that had overgrown so I kind of just switched them out and so these are the smaller ones that started growing see there's the little one that I've been propagating there that one should still be attached I haven't detached it from the main little but that one's there she's there a little mushroom and see so back here I'm starting <clears throat> propagating back there there's some small little ones just hiding back there here's the other one right here so then my door is right here and I have this little wreath um then over here I put like a spool it's not completely finished so you see me working with my stuff here I'm still trying to figure this little spool out, see how I'm going to decorate it. But so far, I have this welcome right here. And to mirror it on the opposite side, I have that one. So it says home. Of course, this one says welcome home. And so this one, this one right here, I decided to go with like a snow theme. I went to a thrift store yesterday and I found these for $2 each. And I thought they were super cute. So this is a little snowman with the deer. And then you see the little... Um, cardinal with the bunnies and the Christmas trees or the pine trees and that little water deal there and this little um, light fixture so I decided to put some succulents there I put these down then I put some fake snow and then I just added the fence right here I really like that one it's super cute and like the way it looks on the terracotta then I just wanted to kind of mirror it with more snow here and um, we have Beauty and the Beast um, girl right there I forget her name sorry but beauty um and a little fixture there and just some other ones that were overgrowing but they got dirty I dropped them in dirt and so I've been trying to brush them off right here um it's kind of hard I've been using this little brush but it already got wet so I'm gonna have to figure something else out but so far that's what I got I really wanted to show you those uh fairy gardens there so I did one two see three four and then of course the fifth one 
I hope you guys like this video. I'll come back with more videos. I know Black Friday is just around the corner and I always like to come and show you what I find. I usually find a lot of good stuff at CVS and Walgreens, so stay tuned for that. I'll be putting a video if I can um, before I go to kind of let you know what I'm picking out and see if I do grab it. Um, but yeah, for now, I am leaving you with this fairy garden video and I will come back and maybe do like a little tour of my garden. I know I haven't done one. It's been a while. Um, I've changed a lot of stuff up here in the front. I've not changed on the side. The thing is, everything's growing. I think it's been two years that I planted these right here and so they are looking really really nice this floral yellow floral tree also I think that one's been three years I can't remember if I did it at the same time I think I did this one first um yes so I've kind of changed a little bit or it's kind of changed but it's just that everything's growing my ferns did die we got a cold front really bad and I didn't cover them and they just died and I had these ferns like forever I think it was maybe eight years and I couldn't believe so this one's kind of struggling but um, I'm kind of going out of context here context sorry because I know I was gonna show you this video another time um, do like a whole walkthrough but so I'll leave you with that and um, I hope you guys are having a great day stay tuned I'll be back for Black Friday deals be safe stay strong bye y'all